Before you start using the pen tool, you better know these seven tricks coming up. What's going on guys, my name is Brendan from Outbound Media and you can find me on Instagram at Burnwells. Before I get started, I just wanted to let anyone who's new here know that I make new Photoshop tutorials every single Wednesday. So if that's something you'd be into, make sure to hit that subscribe button. The pen tool is probably the one tool that I get asked the most about and everyone seems to have a love-hate relationship with it. So after watching this tutorial, I hope that you guys start to understand the pen tool a little bit better and fall in love with all its uses and how fantastic of a tool it really is. So the image that we're going to be working with today is this coffee cup here. I'm just going to cut out this coffee cup from the background. And the best way to do that is with our pen tool. The reason I pick a coffee cup is because it has lots of awesome curving lines, some straight lines, and some interesting edges that will really utilize all the uses that a pen tool offers. So the first thing you'll notice is if I go to my pen tool here and I hold, there's a whole bunch of different options here. So you can access all of these options through different shortcuts that I'm going to be discussing throughout this tutorial. So for now I'm just going to use just my pen tool So by pressing P. So I'm just going to zoom in so I can see my coffee cup a little bit better. So coming up on number one on our list of things you absolutely need to know about the pen tool is our anchor point. So if I just click on the edge of the coffee cup here, you'll see we have a little box. Now if I click on the edge over here again, I get another box and another box and another box and another box and all of these boxes are called anchor points and basically they're defining the edges that the lines of the pen tool are anchoring from they're super important and key in defining the outside edges of what you're wanting to select now as you'll notice here all the lines between our anchor points are straight and I want them to curve with my coffee cup. Now of course you could just do a bajillion little anchor points making a, making the curve around with a bunch of straight lines but to save yourself all the work I'm just gonna undo what I've just did and I'm gonna go back and show you guys trick number two which is how to curve your lines with the pen tool. So once I've planted my first initial anchor point I'm gonna click up to where I want my next anchor point to be and I'm just gonna click and I'm gonna drag out and as you'll see it curves the line and we're just going to drag it until the curve matches with the edge of our coffee cup. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing again so if I just click up here and I drag out you'll notice that our pen tool curves with the coffee cup. So you can just continue to do that all the way around. Just like that. So now moving on to number three as you'll see this curve doesn't quite match up how I want it to go. So what I can do is I can go back to a different anchor point and adjust how much the line is being curved. So what I can do is I'm going to just command click on my anchor point that I want to adjust. Now if you see these two little dots on the outside of our anchor point, these are what will adjust the curve of our lines on either side of our anchor point. So if I hold my command, hold my command key and just drag out, you'll see that it will adjust our curve in a bit of a different way. Now that being said, while holding the command key, if I move my anchor point too much, you'll see that the other side is also affected. They're both being turned at the same time. Now what if I want to only affect my once, the one side of my anchors? So that brings me on to the next trick. Now if I hold my alt key and hold on to my, click my little point here, if I drag that out, you'll see now it only affects that one side which is super important and is a really key thing to know when using the pen tool. It'll save your, save your bacon quite a bit. So in this case, I want this line to curve just to match this coffee cup, so I'm going to adjust this point here. So I'll, I'll just hold Alt and I'll click on the point of this anchor and I'll just drag it out to match the edge of the coffee cup, just like that. And then I can do the same down here, so I can Command click on my anchor and then I can hold alt and adjust my line to better suit the edge that I'm wanting to follow. So now to go back to my original, again you just will hold command and click. Those are pretty much the essential steps of, of defining your path with the pen tool. I'm just going to finish selecting the rest of this coffee cup here using the exact same steps that I just shared with you guys. Using my command key, my alt key, 
and making sure to click and drag to curve all of the lines between my anchor points. And let's just say that I accidentally put an anchor point between here and here and I couldn't get the curve to match up just how I was wanting. So what I can do is if I go over my pen tool line, you'll see that there's a little plus that goes up beside our, or our pen tool icon. So you'll see it's not there and then now we have a plus. So if I click on that line with my pen tool, you'll see it adds an anchor point for me. So if I hold command, I can move that anchor point wherever I please, and then now I can match up to the edge. And then of course, just like before, I can hold alt to adjust the points on either side to better match the edges that we're trying to trace. So I'm just gonna go down here and I'm gonna complete my path by tracing it all the way around back to my starting point. So now as you'll see, all of my points connect into one. So what I can do now is I can right click and I can turn it into a selection if I would like. So now it will give me an option called the feather radius and all that is is just is telling you how much of a feather do you want on the edge of your selection. So if I had a five pixel feather it would be relatively, the coffee cup would have relatively soft edges. So since I want it to be nice and sharp I'm going to keep it at zero. And then I can just click OK. So now as you'll see, I have a selection just like this, just like you would get with your quick selection tool or anything like that, except we made it with our pen tool. So now if I wanted with that selection, I can add the selection to a layer mask by just going down here and clicking my layer mask icon. And now as you'll see, everything is cut out. Everything is cut out except for a coffee cup and it is added right here to a layer mask. Now let's just go back a few steps here. Next thing that I could try to do is I could right click and say I want to create a vector mask with this. So I can right click create a vector mask and it does pretty much the exact same thing except now it is on a vector mask instead of a layer mask. A vector mask is just made up of mathematical formulas while a layer mask is made out of pixels. So a layer mask can lose quality as you resize your image while a vector mask will always retain its detail and its edges. Now let's go back a few steps again just to try something a little different. So the other option that we can do is I can right click and I can go fill path. So now everything that everything that is inside of my path that I've just created, I can fill with a color. So in this case, let's just say I want to put black. I just want to make my whole coffee cup black. So what I can do, I just change my contents here to black and then I can change I want my mode to stay as normal, my opacity at 100%, and I'm just going to click OK. And as you'll see, it just filled our entire selection with black. So that is something that you could do if you're wanting to cut out a person and turn them into a silhouette, for example. Lastly, with the selection we have just made, we can also define this coffee cup as a custom shape. So of course, I would probably want to cut out this handle really quickly here. So I'm just going to go through, add a few anchor points, and add that into my selection here. just like that. And now if I right click, I can go down here to define custom shape. So as you'll see, I now have this shape that looks exactly like a coffee cup. I could say, I can name this to coffee cup shape and click OK. Now if I go down here to my custom shape tool, if I go up to my shape, you'll see just down here that I now have a coffee cup shape. So if I go to draw one here, just like that, I now have a coffee cup shape that is forever mine to keep amongst my other shapes that I have in my custom shape tool library. Now of course that shape doesn't have to be necessarily a coffee cup, it could be like a heart, it could be like a weird looking circle, it could be a cloud that you make with the, with the pen tool, something like that. There's so many different things that you can do with the pen tool. So that's pretty much it guys, there's maybe a little bit more than seven things that you need to know about the pen tool. I just hope this stops you guys from hating on the pen tool because it's too hard or something like that. Once you guys practice and dial in all these uses, there is pretty much an endless amount of things that the pen tool can be used for. It will become your absolute best friend in Photoshop. If this tutorial helped you and you know someone else that this might help as well, I would love if you just shared this link with a friend, helping anyone who's struggling with the pen tool learn a little bit more. And just as another friendly reminder, I make new Photoshop tutorials every single Wednesday. So if that's something you'd be into, make sure to hit that subscribe button and maybe even consider hitting that bell button for notifications every time I post. 
If you're wanting to see more of my work, make sure to visit my website at outboundmedia.net or if you're more of an Instagram kind of person, find me on Instagram at burnwells. Anyways, that is all I have for you guys. This was seven things and a little bit more about the pen tool that you absolutely need to know. Again, my name is Brendan from Outbound Media and I hope to see you back here next Wednesday for another new Photoshop tutorial. See you then.